Hey guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with the Hunter Call of the Wild. And I came on for a special episode mainly because Dua doesn't happen to be on. And I wanted to take a quick look at what has been introduced to this particular map. The African map, that is. Now, it has been my understanding... That we have lions now, guys. Yes, we have lions. And... I am going to see if I can't find some. Or, well, maybe they'll find me, but... <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, I want to at least get a look at them. I don't know how... If you can hunt them, or if you just... They're kind of a hazard, or what the deal is. But... Something just made a call from over here. So I'm going to go to a crouch here. And we're going to walk over here and see if we can't figure out what's over here. But anyway, I'll come back if I see anything interesting. But hopefully we're going to find at least a one pride or something. I don't know if they... I don't know. I could assume they're going to be in prides. Maybe they'll be by themselves. It's hard to say. Alright guys, I'll be back. Alright guys, I just heard a springbok just ahead of me. I decided to head this direction towards this lake over here because it's early morning and from what I understand from watching plenty of National Geographic, the animals should be going down to that water hole to get some water. And hopefully the lions are going to go down there to try to get the animals getting the water. So, that at least is the theory. So, we've got us a springbok up there. Now, it looks like the wind is in our favor at this point. The only thing is, is that when you crouch, you move so slow. But let me see if I can't see him. Well, that's the wrong thing. There we go. I don't have any kind of collar for these guys, so... Pretty much just have to sneak up on them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure how far ahead he was. Now, if he would just make another call, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything that I can use. The only thing I have, what is this? Some kind of collar. I think it's a... Oh, it's for deer. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> that was fine for Patagonia, but not for here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep our eyes open. Let's see, what is this? This chipene, you call it the Gemsbok or South African Oryx, is a major target for hunters and poachers. Their horns fetch a deluxe price. Despite that threat, they've lost so many natural predators, their population is booming at an unsustainable rate. Oh, the Rafiki guy decided to speak. <laughs> Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, he's he's right over there somewhere. So that's a Gemsbok. And there's a Springbok right over here somewhere. Wait a minute, let me see here. Oh, yeah. All kinds of them. Whole herd. Yep, that's exactly what they were doing. They're down by the watering hole. What 
the hell is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, I see stuff. I see all kinds of stuff. Let's see. What do we got out there? Oh, we got the gems. The gem spock. Two of them in that one. That one is nice. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to him. Oh, shoot. I'm not going anywhere near you, you pain in the butt. Those damn war hogs. Okay. Yeah, they don't scare easy, I'll tell you that. There's more than just one over there. Alright, let's take a good look here, guys. Oh, wow, we've got several. That one has a nice set of horns. See if we can't go prone here. Get up on this rise and wait a minute. Yeah, right here. Now let's go prone. Blood, telltale sign of a wounded animal, or sometimes a man. Eh, hey, you never know out here. All right, guys, I am going to let him get his run out, so that he doesn't get too far. But I definitely hit him because he jerked back nobody's business. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stand all the way up and walk this time. But I am going to keep his shotgun out. <laughs> I've learned my lesson in this place. Shotgun, you can shoot something from the hip fairly easily. And I don't have a handgun, so... Now it's just a matter of finding where the blood is. Here it is. Yep. Flesh wound. Just now. Warning call. There's more blood. Oh, I must have hit him pretty good, because he's 
He is leaving a blood trail. And he dropped some poop. Alright guys, I think I found him. I think I found him. And he is still kicking. He is still hanging on. Now he's down. Nope. You've got to be kidding me. This damn gun does not pack much of a punch. I hit him twice. He went over there, stopped, turned back around, and still moved on. This fella has been hit three times. Well, that was a massive blood spill there. Vital hit. Yeah, he's going down. He's going down. There's a lot of lag in this today. I don't know what the deal is. Alright guys, it looks like I found him. Finally. Jeez. This was one tough hombre, I'll tell you. He was not giving up. I'm going to go ahead and get all my tracking in here. Looks like I'm in a new area too. Can't really get a great look at him though. Let's see. 597. I would not ask more of you. That was perfectly executed. So he was a now bronze. Now you just have to do one more thing. Then I have a surprise for you. <laughs> no, I'll spoil the surprise for you. It's more work. Ah, such is the life, eh? Yeah, it looks like the first one I shot him it hit flesh and then the second time that was the one that did a number on him well we'll go ahead and accept him well he gave me quite the chase I'll tell you I thought I had him three times or maybe I don't know I've had that happen to me before in the past with this game so I must have just hit him the one time when I shot what I thought was twice the first one I think did him serious damage and then he turned and ran and I thought I got him the second time and I really didn't but we're gonna head over here to this new building That'll open up some new places on the map, and I think eventually we're going to go over here to this watering hole, but... Alright, here's a new place, and we're going to go ahead and claim this so that we can get some more gear. That uh, post is unlocked. Got more XP. Very nice. All right, guys. Uh, figuring out where this lion, these lions are. I have a feeling this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Alright, let's go down here to the garage. I'm going to select my ATV and we're going to go take a trip here, guys.
son of a gun. <laughs> That got him. And he's going down. Boom. That's it. That's my first kill with the crossbow. That sure does more damage than that, sh that darn rifle. It doesn't make any noise. Take a look at him. I don't think he's as big. There's my my bolt. Perfect shot to right lung, left lung. 100% perfect shot. And he's silver. 626. I got an archery score reward. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let's head on back to the ATV. I still don't know how in the world I didn't scare him. We got something over here. Another Gemsbach. Seeing a lot of them out here. Uh, he's out there somewhere. Well, that's two so far. I think that's pretty good. Let's get back on the ATV here. Okay, looks like there's another point of interest up here. Might be a lookout. Alright, I'm going to walk the rest of the way here. We're going to look down at that much bigger lake and see if there's what is this what oh you can build something here well isn't that dandy I don't know I guess you can build a lookout tower Well, I don't want to just spend my cash right now. I really need more a better weapon, so I need to save my cash. Still no lions, damn. Let me get my binoculars out and see if I see anything out there. I know it's a little late in the day for them to be coming down to the water hole though. See much activity. Actually, none is what I'm seeing. Hmm. Well, I have to keep this in mind because that could be useful in the future. Since I'm up here, I figured I might as well get a good look around. Here we go. Another lookout. 
But yeah, guys, I have not seen any lions yet. This wasn't a bad little expedition, but I did want to get a good look at this. And that'll open up a lot that of our map. Is everything I ask you to do? Awe, grandchild. So it looks like there's more points of interest, and it looks like there's another. Oh no, we have a problem. Remember how we lost the lions, the elephants, and all but one rhino? You know what the problem was, don't you? Poachers. Yes. They littered the reserve with traps. The Vusha, the eastern land, was hit hardest. My crew helped the police push these poachers out of the Vusha, but they left so many traps behind, no matter how many we've cleared, we keep finding more. A junior guide spotted a few of these traps not far from where you started. Could you kindly clear them out? So I gotta clear traps out? And I got a cash handout of about a thousand bucks. So, I gotta do these darn missions. <laughs> well, anyway, guys. I don't know about the lions. I'm, I was, like I said, I was told about it. I don't know if they've really been installed or if maybe you have to complete a few missions and then they'll come around later. I don't know. But, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And... As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.